is very cool play. This is very cool by play by Tron, getting quick upgrades. That's why he doesn't have a whole bunch of units out right now. Uh, it's just a different style of play, very, very valid in, uh, in PVT. Absolutely, and I mean, Electro's moving out. He has an awesome army composition. He has Marauders, Marines, um, Vikings, Tanks, Medivacs, Hellions. I mean, he has just a variety of army composition. It's going to be great for fighting this Protoss army. Yeah, great force. If uh, he's really going to have to pick where he chooses to battle, he's going to need an open area for his Marauders to run around force fields and snipe Colossae ASAP. Right now, he only has four Vikings against the now three Colossus of Tron, and that's, you know, you need almost three Vikings per Colossus if you want to do any damage. You, you either have to commit to Vikings or don't make them. Uh... Overmake Vikings or don't make Vikings. Like you that. can sometimes be tricked from a Protoss who only makes one Colossus, but good scouting will uh, prevent you from making that mistake. And he is still pumping out Vikings at the moment right now. One more is coming out. He does have a pretty good looking army. I'm not sure if this is a good spot to engage on this low ground for him because, yeah, because of this extendable thermal lances and the, yeah. uh, the force field. I think it's a bad idea to engage right there. I absolutely agree. This can be easily force field as long as Tron sees it. Oh, he's going to siege up. It's a great position. Now it's a great position for Electro. Oh, Electro is up, but he's cutting his army off of the force field. kind of holding them back. He has so many marauders and Vikings are shooting down these Colossites. Oh, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. Oh, and the Vikings are in a great position. Oh, it looks wow. like Electro's going to come up way ahead in this situation. Electro, just those medevacs are doing so much work with healing those, take, making it so long for Electro to... But it looks like he did kill off all the ground forces of Electro. Yeah. He just has Vikings and tanks left. Yeah, and, and I don't he, know why wow. Electro's trying to run away. So Electro did pick up those tanks to save them, um, mm -hmm. and pulled them back. So that was a pretty, almost even battle there. Yeah. Each guy lost basically their whole army. Except for the tanks, which was crucial to save those tanks. But uh, now he, Electro has so many Vikings out, he is going to be able to combat any more Colossi. Because he did get to save basically all those Vikings. So now he's just going to hopefully be producing just a big ground army. Yeah, and I, uh, I almost want to say Tron came out of that battle ahead. Because now he has, he's about to get 3-3. Three, three, oh, wow. Huge compared to... Uh, what does Electro have? Well, Electro, Electro is moving out with a bunch of uh, Vikings right now in medevacs. He's oh, and there's so many Zealots. Oh, those Zealots are just ripping that army right now. But the problem is that there's only one Stalker. Literally, one Stalker. Oh my and god. And those Vikings right now are going to eat any Colossus that's made. And yeah, Electro is literally just A-moving. And I believe he could just A-move to victory right now. So many medevacs, so many Vikings. Oh my god, they're engaging again. The charged shells are charging forward, and now they're coming back, getting hit by those concussive shells, slowing them down. Yeah. And those tanks are just... It looks oh like he's... man, he's moving back. Electro gets into these great positions and then moves away. I don't know why he doesn't oh, and Tron is up and keep it. Down. Once those zealots get charged, he's going to be able to kill a lot of those tanks, and they are charging right now. He's taking out the tanks, and he backs off. So... I, th I think that Electro definitely had the upper hand in that battle, but, I mean, it, as you can see at his base, he macroed up another army pretty quickly. Pretty scary-looking force. Mm -hmm. There are six siege tanks in Electro's army, which is very scary to Tron, but unless those siege tanks are sieged, they're not really that much of a threat, and Electro keeps sieging them for, you know, this these quick battles, but not holding those positions and making Tron feel trapped, and that's what he needs to do right now. He needs he needs to make Tron feel as though he can't do anything. So Tron, is, you know, he's not making any more Colossi, which is going to make those Vikings useless unless they land. He is making Archons, and he has Storm on the way. Storm is not going to be done in time. By the, actually, it might be done in time by the time this battle comes, which is going to be so effective versus this army, versus those Marauders and Marines. Yeah, and uh, Electro actually just scanned um, Tron's army and saw the High Templar, so he knows what's coming. Uh, I'd like to see how he responds. Wow, he Tron morphed. Uh, sorry, Tron morphed a lot of those High Templars into Archons, yep. which are going to be beasts with three three upgrades. Oh yes. wow! And they are uh, actually already have plus one shields, which is an expensive upgrade. That's about two hundred, two hundred. 
especially for Archons, which are 90% shield. This is going to be awesome. Those guys are going to be beast. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, here he's going to engage the Zealot in the back. Archon in front, taking a Huge lot of storm. Oh! Wow, those oh Archons are landing the Vikings. In the army. Oh, and Tron is ripping through everything right now. Oh my, oh God. my goodness. They are killing the rest of those uh, Archons. But, wow, those. Those oh, Archons that's... ripped through that army. Ripped through that army. That splash damage on the Archons with their upgrades. Wow. I've got nerd chills. <laughs> I've got nerd of... chills, Joker. A little bit of turn of events. I mean, I thought Electro had the upper hand for a lot of that game. I really like the unit composition that Tron went with those upgraded Archons because they just killed that force. Yeah, that was a... such... It was such a great decision to transition into High Templar slash Archons out of Colossi with so many Vikings on the field. I wouldn't mind seeing him actually transition, transition back into Colossi now that he knows all the Vikings are dead. That's absolutely a great point, and he does have that mm -hmm. Observer back on his army. A couple more Vikings are coming out, and they both have are on four bases, so awesome. Yeah. This is a great game. What this a great scan, great though. Macro. See that scan just drop down perfectly on Tron's army right in the middle of the map sees everything that's going on. Yep, Electro really wants to know, you know, where Tron's army is, if it's close. You know, that's what's really important. If he scanned the main and saw the troops were there, then, you know, he didn't really care. Uh, if he scanned the middle and the troops weren't there, then he knows that they're not close. So, it was Electro, like, Electro is going for 3-3 three, three for his uh, Marines and Marauders, for his ground weapons. Um, he does have a yep. lot of Hellions in this, in this army to fight off these Zealots. And it looks like they, we might have a little engagement here. The Hellions are in front. They're shooting their pre-igniter at all these zealots, but the zealots are just ripping through this right yeah. now with those archons at the back. He's going to be able, Tron's going to be able to, to beat this army, I believe. Nope, uh, Electro is actually going to come out ahead. Uh, he's going to, with a little bit of reinforcements with these extra marauders in the back and the medevac support, uh, uh -oh. he should be able to beat stalkers. Yeah, marauders, you know, they don't take shit from stalkers. <laughs> marauders <right>. are... <laughs> Oh, we do have a bunch of charged zealots climbing up here, but yep. wow, it's so hard to tell who's going to win these battles. They're so close. Each and every battle is just super close. Yeah, it really... Oh my gosh, there's a war prism! Rob! Oh my god, oh, amazing! And it's actually... It's now 72 probes to 50 SCVs, so it's not really that big of a deal uh, at this point in the game because army composition and army size is very important. Electro ha still has a very decent army that he could go do damage with. There's <sighs> still two zealous just kind of oh, he's dropped a bunch more up in the main right now. He's just ripping these SCVs Ooh. with a great attack with this war prism just warping in a bunch of charged lots during this attack. And he's crushing a lot of SCVs. I'm speechless. Awesome. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe we missed that, but now that we're onto it, we need to watch that warp prism because that thing is just going around wrecking things. I think it just died, though. No, man, it's it's actually going up to the floor. Oh, yeah. It's going to do it again. What an awesome play I by Tron. Oh, miss this. Oh, but Electro learned his lesson. It looked like Tron only warped in. Oh, no, he warped in a bunch of Zelda and Stalkers. Yeah, he tricked us. <laughs> he tricked us. Oh, and that command center has full energy. If he gets that command center, it's going to be such a huge deal because it's so many mules. It's, that's four mules, Joker. Oh, God. How much, how much does four mules give you, Joker? Oh, someone on our site. Remember we messed up on an earlier cast? We didn't know how much yes. of... I think it's like 300 plus minerals. It's, it's a little bit under 300, depending on what uh, mineral patch you put it on. So that's, that's about 1,200 minerals, you know. That is yeah. crucial. That's a lot of Marines and Marauders you could be making. Definitely. Awesome. Awesome play. That that warp prism for Tron is a beast, man. Just doing perfect harassment. You know what? That thing should get credit for the kills that all those zealots <laughs> got. This yeah. Void, oh, this void prism, this, uh, I keep calling it void prisms. This warp prism right here should have like 30 kills on it. Oh, yeah. That thing is He's doing crucial. Minutes. And we do see Doom Electro moving out for a scary looking attack. Is Tron ready? He does have a lot of Archons, which are beasts okay. with two or three two and three upgrades they are going to be so strong especially yeah. versus and he tanks. does have a high templar that just got a storm so oh, oh he's, he's not sieging up Electro oh my gosh he's not sieging up he's not going to be sieged up in time and the archons oh, man. Are army they are stimming oh huge Close. storm and there's oh, gg gg from electro what an awesome game wow uh, i'm so upset with this game and I'm so happy at the same time. <laughs> I'm, Why are can you I do, can I be that? Can I Why do that? 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 was 
was a great game. Well, I'm disappointed with Electro. I think he could have played a lot better. He had he put himself into great positions in many times during that game, you know, with his siege tanks, sieging up, mm-hmm. you know, getting into the right position, making Tron feel like he's choked in. Yeah. And then he just unseages and leaves. Yeah, there is, yeah, you know? absolutely. There's a couple times I think he could have kept the pressure up a little more, but, yeah. I mean, it was an awesome game. They were on four bases. We had Harass. We had absolutely. Tanks, Archons, Colossi. It was, it was a good match from both players, so. Absolutely. You got to give all the credit to Tron for... Tron. Great harassment, great unit composition, Love. switching at a good time. Yep, Tron played a great game, and uh, these guys are both you know really good players, and we'll hopefully be casting them soon. So thanks, guys, for watching. We'll catch you guys soon.